I was um, driving along uh, last night, minding my own affairs. Da 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 da. da. Rock and roll. And um, this, it happened to me again. I can't believe it. Why do these things uh, keep happening to me? Hmm? I'm driving along at twenty miles an hour in a twenty mile an hour zone, and somebody ran into the road in front of me. And it was kind of like a cartoon. He, he just ran into the road and lay down in the road in front of my car. And so I thought, oh, again? Because about a year or so ago, in more or less the same place, I came upon uh, something that I, th I thought rubbish bags had blown into the road and I um, started to go around them. But it wasn't a rubbish bag at all. It was some bloke who was lying in the road, crossways, at, uh, last time. And I stopped and I put my hazards on and um, I started yelling at him, get out of the road, you moron, you're going to die. And he was, he'd been refreshed. Booze. Uh, I expect a lot of it. And he sort of rolled over a bit, but he was still in the middle of the road. And so I, um, I put on my, uh, my forceful uh, voice and um, I, I started to, I st I start, started channeling Gavin Williamson. Oh, hello there. Very nice to meet you. That moved him. I said, no, you're still in the road, you idiot. Get on the pavement. And he, um, he, he struggled to do that. I mean, I didn't want to touch him, you know. I had no idea where he'd been. And at the moment that I was um, bellowing at him to get off the uh, road, suddenly a police car showed up behind me. And I thought, well, about blooming time that happens, because the stuff you uh, see on the, the road... I mean, there's never a police person around when uh, people are undertaking me at 100 miles an hour to, uh, in a 20-mile-an-hour uh, zone while I'm going round and round about. You know, stuff like that. People who drive so crazy that you just hope, fingers crossed, that uh, you will uh, come by them a couple of miles up the road and they'll be upside down, spinning. I can't be the only person who uh, thinks that. And so um, I got back in my car and I left them to it, grateful that, uh, you know, somebody was there to take over and it wasn't going to be just down to me. So that was about a year or so ago. And last night, I just couldn't believe what was happening. He, he ran into the middle of the road right in front of me, put his arms by his side and then lay down in the road. And I thought, well, is that a step forward in road safety? Not really, no. And so I was halfway driving around him thinking well if i don't stop then um no one's going to so i don't know why this keeps happening to me uh, what have i done to deserve this and so i'll have to get out my blooming car and yell at this bloke now and um in my rearview mirror there was a, a a big white van and at the moment that i was about to get out it lit up like a christmas tree it was a police van that didn't have any markings on it. And I thought, well, I can't believe it. It's happened again. Oh. So um, I left them to deal with it. Because, you know, it's like their job, isn't it? Not my job. Nothing to do with me. It was like that when I got there, literally. Why does this keep happening to me? Answers on a postcard to the following address, 0345 6060 973, text 84850, email nick a at lbc.co.uk. If you're on Twitter, it's at LBC, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night at 10, Nick Abbott, LBC. This is LBC. A new energy efficient boiler from Scottish Gas can save you up to 22% on gas bills. That's a 22% saving on warm nights in. <sighs> Cozy cats. Oh, and shower discos. Save money with a new energy-efficient boiler from Scottish Gas. And you can even spread the cost with up to four years' interest-free credit. Search Scottish Gas new boiler. Credit subject to status. A credit broker, not a lender. Using panel of lenders. For savings, see website.